So it's going to the northwest. Not super far away. A little closer than the other one. Okay, let's go check it out. Maybe we'll luck out and find even more diamonds. Because you guys know, I tell you this all the time, diamonds are an old guy's best friend. Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to start off by uh, tending to our garden up here. Um, so we're going to pick the current crops and then kind of rearrange everything so I have the right quantity of crops that I want in each uh, crop plot. And then after that, um, we will see where we're at. I have... I did uh, a, a bit of afk in while I was waiting for uh, materials. I did uh, some mining off camera. And let's see here. So this guy has made over a thousand iron ingots. So what we're going to do here is grab these and let's put them in here. And then I made a few more uh, of the each of the types of plating there. So we'll put... Uh, no, not that. We'll put those in there. And that gives us um, 111 steel plating and 207 iron plating. So what I think we'll do is we will put... Uh, here, let's put that into there. And we want to make some steel ingots. We could make a total of... Oh, no. Sorry. Wrong recipe. We want... Wait. This one. Yeah. Okay. I have a whole mess of coal dust. It's just a little bit out of range of the thing. Okay. Okay, now uh, we can make a total of 593, but that'll consume all of our iron ingots. So why don't we make 300 steel ingots? And then we'll keep the rest as iron for the time being. I'm going to put all of this in here so we have some uh, that's within range. Okay, now this thing has been cooking up cement and it's just about done. So we've got over 2,000 cement here. And we are going to... Oh, I've got a bunch of stone dust too, except I can't move. So let's put this in here temporarily. Okay, so we have stone powder there and stone powder and more coal powder here. And let's put that... Maybe we should uh, take a trip to the vendor today too and uh, sell some of that stuff off. Here, let's not put the coal powder there. We'll put the coal powder over here. Okay, now let's see how much concrete we can make. 2016 concrete mix look at that okay let's get started with that and then of course we will be turning those into blocks so we can continue our um build up of the other corner of the Deshong tower okay so that'll be done in just 25 seconds there oh i am actually low on fuel uh, or getting low on fuel so we need to probably take a trip to the desert do i have the yeah this should, I think this has some gasoline in it. We have two things of gasoline in there. Okay. So those two things of gasoline and what's in here is all we have left. So let's take three of those cans and put them in the generator. I should probably maybe make a switch to the Jenny from down below so I can turn it off when I don't actually need it running. Because I just put it in there and let it run until it burns everything out. But that's not very efficient. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Uh, I've, I've kind of figured out what I... Or how much, rather, I want in each plot here. Um, so we're going to basically have two sections of goldenrod. And two sections of chrysanthemum. Because we need that both for... Uh, mineral water and for paint. So we're going to, uh, whoops. We're going to pick these guys up. 
and replace them with goldenrod so we have two full rows. And I have six more goldenrod seeds there. In fact, there, let's just take all of these seeds. Or all of those things. One of you guys mentioned to me in the comments that I should put an extra plot at each end. Um, that's a good idea, but I don't think I need to. I think we're going to have plenty of produce. And if it turns out that I do need some more, then we will definitely do that. But I have a feeling like this is this is going to be plenty for, for, for us. But we'll see. You know, if it turns out that we could use a little bit more space, then we can definitely add more crop plots at the end of each section. That's a good idea. So this already has chrysanthemum all the way across, so that's good to go. Okay, so let's see. What else? Hops. Um, we're just going to have one section of hops, and we already do, so we're good to go there. We'll leave those exactly the way that they are. For pumpkins, I've got this all written down here. Pumpkins, we were just going to have one row, too. So let's pick those, but leave them there, and then we will... Remove the corn seed from there. And pumpkin seed. Oh, you know what? I didn't factor in super corn. Hmm. I don't have any. Oh, yeah, I've got pumpkin seed right here. I was looking. My eyeballs were looking for something different. Maybe what? Okay, you know what we could maybe do is put those. Put the crop plots in the end. And put super corn in those. Maybe we'll do that since we do have some extra crop plots. Okay, so we got hops taken care of. We have pumpkins taken care of. I wanted two rows of aloe, and it looks like, because you know we use these this for medical. Man, this stuff is heavy. We'll remove these mushrooms and put <clears throat> another aloe in there. Aloe vera. Do we have aloe seed? I don't think so. So let's do one aloe seed. Oh, we have to do that in the artisan's table. <clears throat> okay. Well, here, let me drop some stuff back off in here because I'm like really heavy. Uh, yeah, 30 pumpkins and 69 things of corn. That'll do it. Stick that stuff in there. Okay. So, yeah, we'll we'll run down uh, to the artisan's table and make... I guess just we just need one more aloe. It's weird that the aloe doesn't show up until you're, like, almost right on top of it. <clears throat> okay, so for yucca... Let me cross this off. Uh, we only need one row of yucca. So we'll keep this row. And we'll remove this these yucca plants. And I think I just wanted one row of coffee. So let's remove the coffee from here. Oh, you know what? Um, we're going to be short on this end. Interesting. Okay. Not that not that that's a big deal. We'll be fine. Okay, so we'll plant coffee in here. So we got coffee seed here. And we're just going to do one section of coffee. That should be plenty. I do use it for the mining buff. Okay, so that takes care of yucca. Oh, wait a minute. No. I take that back. We wanted... To, I put down to have two rows of coffee. Okay, so, um, boop, 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 boop. what I think we'll do then in that case is let's pick these blueberries from here and we'll move them over to where the coffee is. Just because the ones that I'm having two sections, I want it to all be one row going all the way across. It doesn't have to be, but that's just kind of how I envisioned it. So that's how it's going to be. 
Um, okay, so these coffee plants we're gonna pick up again. And we'll put the blueberry along here. Yeah, I think I decided to do two rows of coffee or two sections of coffee because we do use it quite a bit for mining. And it doesn't last very long either, the buff itself. Okay, good. So I can cross that off, that I can cross off blueberries. And then the last two are going to be potatoes and corn. Because that's what we use the most of. <clears throat> Except for we're going to be shy uh, one on that end. So what we might end up doing instead then, here, we'll put the corn here. Maybe we'll put the use some in pieces to make up for the one being short because this is these are the two things we need the most of. Even though I actually have a lot of corn right now already. Um or the other thing I guess I could do is I could just take this little section of the building out. Because I'm planning on removing all of this stuff anyway. Yeah, that might work better. Why don't we do that instead? Okay. Now, let's grab these. Oh, I guess I have them in my inventory already. Uh, where are we going? Over here. Got a little disoriented there for a second. Uh, wait, what? Did I look at that wrong? Yeah, I did. That's probably confusion from playing Icarus, because I think the inventory is on the other side in Icarus. Okay, and then we will put some lattice up here. Copy shape. And I don't have any boards on me to upgrade that, so we'll do that later. Bring those back to normal shapes. Good. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put uh, have more corn seed here. And I'm still going to put that in there too. <clears throat> because the more I think about it, the more I think I'd like to have the extra potatoes and corn. Uh, but we're going to put potatoes in that one. Okay, we're we'll going to have to make more potato seed down at the artisan bench uh, for this row. What that leaves us left then with is, well, here, let's do this. Let's also put an extra one there and an extra one there. And that can be extra corn and potatoes. And then we'll put one of those there and one of those there and one of those there. And I have... Uh, two super corn seed. And then we'll have to make the rest of the super corn from this. So what? We don't use super corn to eat. We use it to craft other things. Interesting. Okay. Um, I mean, I've, I've had it before, but I, I couldn't quite remember what we actually did with it. We have lots of corn and, and stuff. Okay, so this is all fresh stuff here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that stuff out, but anything that's a seed we'll just put back in here for now because we don't really need those now. Oh, wait a minute. Did I forget to do shrooms? I forgot to do shrooms. Hmm. That's right. I forgot to do shrooms and I wanted to do... I wanted to do two rows of shrooms because of, you know, for vegetable stew in particular. But we don't have any thingies left. 
Alright. We could kind of do the cheesy thing. Well, actually, maybe Undead Legacy doesn't let us do the cheesy thing. Can we put seeds on... Yeah, no, I think it, it's going to force us to put them in a crop plot, which is fine by me because I think that's the way it should be. Oh, man, okay. Yep, I miscalculated. So, what does that mean? Does that mean we want to... Hmm. Okay, if we did shrooms... At, at, uh, on the end, so that'd be one, two, three, four, five. We could just close that off. That doesn't have to be open. Six, seven, eight, eight. That's only a half of thing of shrooms. We could try that and see if that if that is enough. If we can get by with that, and if it isn't, then you know we we switch things up later. Okay, I think that's what we're going to do. So that's all seed stuff. This is all produce. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. Oh, wait, we got seeds in here too. We want to keep eight of those with us. The rest of the seeds can go in here. And, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go down and we need to make uh, one two, three, four, five, six, seven more crop plots to put on the end pieces. <clears throat> I need to make um, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve more potato seeds. And I think we needed another aloe seed as well. Okay, so twelve potatoes, one aloe, and seven crop plots. Um, no, actually, we want to put the aloe in here. Um, aloe cream, yeah, because because we need to make the well. No, actually, I guess we make the normal bandages in our own in our own inventory. Okay, so um, I put the potatoes. In, oh, you know what? We're not going to have enough potatoes to make that many seeds. Uh, so let's just make as many as we can, and then as we continue to harvest, we will keep expanding it until it's completely filled out. So we can make a total of um, four. <laughs> it's not very many. Okay, so it's still going to be a little while yet before we're into significant potato production. Uh, I got some concrete blocks there already made up. Um. Okay, so what we might do is just plant something else because we have those extra seeds in the place of the potatoes until we have uh, enough to fill it all the way. Let's put that in there. We'll put this in here. Uh, those can go in there, and the honeycomb can also go in here. All right, so do we have enough stuff to make... Um, eight, or no, seven more of these. Whoops. No, we can only make one more because of, of the spoiled meat. And this is where I would normally store it. How much spoiled meat do we need to make one of those damn things? Oh, we can make one more. Okay. Okay, so that gets us two of the seven that we need for the crop plots. And we also needed to make another aloe seed. So let's grab those aloe vera leaves. What do I have in here? Oh. That's actual food. Those aren't seeds. So let's pull those out of there. And we needed to make one aloe vera seed. Okay. We should probably make a crap ton of yucca juice because we have so much yucca fruit. Uh, no, not those. How much do we have? 150. Okay. Um, put the hops flowers in there and the blueberries in there. We are doing very well, ladies and gentlemen, for food. 
I want to turn all of these into cream. Because I think that's the only recipe we can do with it, right? Yeah, well, or the seed, right? Okay. So those will all be turned into cream <clears throat> for little bandages. Athletic skill has improved to level 57. Look at us in our bad athletic self. If only we're true in real life. I am anything but athletic in real life. <laughs> ah, all right. So these will... Uh, what we're going to actually do here is... Let's plant the other potatoes first. Uh, so I'm going to put these here. And then we're going to just put the shrooms in the other places that will eventually be potatoes. Well, over on that side anyway. I don't know. That probably doesn't make any sense to you guys, but it, it makes sense in my own brain. <laughs> uh, okay. So I think we got a couple more spots there that we could put something in. Let's take a look. Oh, we got another. Yeah, we can plant another shroom. And I get, we have so much corn. We do more coffee or goldenrod or chrysanthemum or hops. Coffee's probably going to be the most useful. Maybe even a couple more pumpkins in those off spots. We'll put some coffee there. And I think we have everything planted now. So we just need to get more uh, spoiled meat farmed up so that we can fill in those slots over there, which will eventually, like I said before, mushrooms. All right, we're doing good, you guys. We are really, really doing good on our, our food situation here. Just have to wait on the on the potatoes. Let's head on back down now and we'll stick that in there. We want to put the aloe cream. I have quite a few small bandages already, so I'm just gonna sit on that aloe cream for now. Now what can we currently a make in here. We can make blueberry pie. We can make pumpkin cheesecake. We can make gumbo stew. Let's make how many of those can we make? Four. Nice. Let's make four gumbo stews. And some of the best food in this game. Even though I don't like gumbo much in real life, but that's okay. Um can't make hobo. We need potatoes for that. Potatoes for that. And peas. And uh, beef rations for those. It's funny that you... All right, okay, so this is what the super corn is needed for. I don't think... Is it that way in, in vanilla, or is that just an undead legacy thing? I don't... I don't know. I don't remember. Cool. That's our lamb rations. Hey, while we're thinking about it, or while I'm thinking about it, Let's run down to our vending machine and get uh, some more canned food. All right. Oh, good. We have a beef ration. We needed that for something. We'll take the rock busters. We'll take the raviolis. Do, do, we don't really need any of that stuff. Do, 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 sugar butts, health bars. Yeah, we don't really need any of the rest of that. I think with that beef ration, we could make, um, there was something we needed it for. Was it spaghetti? Don't remember. Uh, go up one more here. Yes. Cool. Okay. So let's make a spaghetti as well. Then we'll put the extra raviolis back in here. The rock busters in here for now. Alrighty. It's looking good, man. Looking good. How are we doing over here? 
Uh, you are done. 878 more. And let's grab all of the cement out of here that's currently made. We will put it up in the stone chest. And we're going to turn every last one of those into more concrete blocks. 350 to be precise. Okay, excelente. Excelente. Turn that off. Put the spaghetti and the gumbo in there. We might need to do something different. Oh man, we have a ton of mushrooms. Can we make veggie stew? No, we don't have potatoes. Yeah, it, we're not gonna really be able to get going crazy on this stuff until until we get the potato production going. Cannot believe how many mushrooms we have. It's a lot of mushrooms. Goodness gracious. What else do we use these for besides the stew? Recipes. Oh, they're using herbal antibiotics. Interesting. Awesome sauce. And those three dishes. Okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> How much cornmeal do I have? Five. This is used for a couple of things besides cornbread. It's used for pie, cornbread, fish stuff. It's used for quite a few things, including making plaster casts and tuna fish gravy toast, which we actually haven't learned. Doesn't look like we've learned that recipe. So since we have so much corn, uh, what I'm going to do is take a full stack of this and we're going to turn this into cornmeal. Oh, that's within range of the other thing, huh? Okay, um, here, let's do it over here just so I don't have to do the math. Okay, so we'll make some cornmeal there, that way, that way we have it. Uh, is this fully charged? Yes, it is. Okay, so for murky water... Got 17 and 7. Um, let's do. Let's fill these up first. Because we need it in the plastic bottle for this stuff. Including beer, glue, yep, okay. And then we'll also fill some normal jars up because there are other recipes that require the normal jars. Of murky water. We're just kind of doing stuff around the house in this episode. That's what this is. This is a this is a household chores episode. Um. All right. Is there something in here? We have a couple of treasure maps. In fact, yeah. Why don't we do that? We need something to do to kind of finish out this episode. Um, we're still sitting on research data in order to do the final update or upgrade of the chem bench, but what's holding us back on that is, are, are the beakers. But once we get this upgraded, then any research data that we get after that, we will use for, you know, uh, other things that I want to research. And that's why I've got things like chili dogs and, um, steroids uh, and I think the repair kit too in here so we can learn those later on. Okay. So, um, what I think I'm going to do, what time is it? It's, yeah. Okay. We got some time. I'm going to run out to the desert because I need to get some more oil shale and we'll, we'll read the treasure maps in the desert. It will go do the treasure maps and we'll get oil shale whilst we're out there. Um, do I have gasoline in the motorcycle? I do. I've got one can. I'm going to take the bike because I know we can carry a whole lot more in the mining car, but it's just so slow. So we'll just take the motorcycle. And we'll carry as much oil shale as it will allow us to do. Okay, are we ready to go? All of our stuff is repaired. It looks like we could touch up this a little bit. 
Not that we're going to probably use that much for oil shale, but we'll take it anyway. And we got food, we got water, we got meds. Um, we have ammunition. Let's top off our 7.62s. I like to always have a full stack of those because our uh, M60s are oh shit weapon. Just out of curiosity too, by the way, what would it take for us to upgrade this to a superior? Um, no, upgrade. Twenty-four military fiber. Oh, it takes test. <laughs> it takes testosterone extract. That's funny, man. All right. Well, this will be you know doing upgrades of our current equipment uh, will be high up on the list after we get that Kim bench done. But that's still I still want that to be our highest priority. I mean, this is this is still you know an A level weapon. It's almost it's almost the highest level, so it's still a pretty good weapon. All right, guys, let's um, head on out then to uh, the desert. I'll see you guys out there. All right, guys, we are pretty far into the desert. Uh, well, at least um, maybe not that direction, but let's go ahead and read these. Hopefully they don't end us up in those rugged mountains. Raphael's treasure map. Oh, wow. That's still a long ways away. Okay, um, we'll mark that and then... Here, let's actually go do that one first. I really don't want the treasure map to go way up on those rugged mountains. That's going to be a pain in the keister. So we'll hit this one first, and then we'll... Just going to have to go around this way. In fact, you know what? This is probably going to be as far north as we've gone um, past this town. It'll be interesting to see what's out there. Okay. Park you right there. Got a, like a little rainstorm coming in. It's kind of creeping me out because if this was Icarus, we'd be looking for shelter right now. Um. All right. So I don't remember if the southeast corner uh, trick is still legit, but let's start in the southeast corner anyways. And uh, see if we can find this thing. We do have jailbreakers with us, right? Yes, we do. Uh, and, oh, and we got two eye candies. Even better. Okay, here we go. Hey, cut that out. You too. Go away. Did not invite you to my party. Seriously? Come on, guys. I'm trying to get a treasure here. All right, let's see where we're at with the, oops, not that, with the ring. Um, I want to say it's kind of coming in maybe this way. Oh, there it is. Okay. Seventy-five hundred coins. Oh, two diamonds. Nice. We needed those for something. I can't remember what. There was something I needed to make that we needed diamonds for, and then I think, I think I ended up doing something different. But well, there we go. We got two diamonds now. In fact, you know what? If we look at the recipes. All right, a beaker. Oh, right, right. Okay, so I don't remember how many more of these we needed, but that might give us enough uh, for us to, um, you know, learn it in the thingamadoodle and be good to go. I want to say we needed three more, but if we only needed two more, then we're golden. We'll find out when we get back. Okay, so let's just read the next treasure map right from here. And it is that direction. So it's going to the northwest. Not super far away. A little closer than the other one. Okay, let's go check it out. Maybe we'll luck out and find even more diamonds. 
Because you guys know, I tell you this all the time, diamonds are an old guy's best friend. Okay. Let's do this again. I don't know if the southeast corner makes a damn bit of difference, so we're just going to start in the middle and let the ring show us where it's going to go. Oh, there it is, right there. Okay, do we still have... Yeah, we still have our jailbreaker... No, we still have our eye candy active, so let's get in here now. There we go. Scrap knuckles? 8,000 dukes. Nice. Okay, the money's been good on these, that's for sure. Plus another 483 cash. And a decent amount of ammo. No diamonds, but still, I'll take it. Okay, cool. All right, I'm encumbered. So let's see if we can worm our way back out of here. I'm going to save my Valkyrie for mining um, oil shale. Can we get out here. Bleep, bleep, bleep. There we go. Okay. All right, guys. Well, hey, I think I'm going to let you guys go here, and I'm going to spend the rest of today uh, mining oil shale, and then take that all back to the base and start making more gasoline. And then, um, not sure what we'll do in the next episode, but we will figure it out. We always do. So, guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.